YouTubers, it's Shelly. I'm here with a haul today. I went to Ulta and I got the buy one get one free Butter London polishes. So, really quickly, I'm going to show you five of the polishes that I had before. Sorry about that. And then six of them that I just bought today. And I know I bought six. It's really ridiculous. But I love these polishes. Their staying power is longer than, definitely longer than OPI. I mean, they stay for about like a week, week and a half, especially if I use a top coat. Uh, so I highly recommend these polishes. They're really worth the money. Uh, so the first one I got when my very first Butter London polish was No More Weighty Katie. And this color, let me flip the screen around so I can see. Yeah, it's showing up to color. Okay. This one I got when the Royal Wedding was happening and I just got purely based off of like everyone else suggesting that I get this color. I don't particularly wear this enough. This is how it looks on my finger. And um, I like it. It's really nice. It's really hard to get off, but I don't know. I just feel like I maybe I'll wear it more in the fall. I haven't been wearing it as of late because it's just not the season to be wearing this kind of murky color. It's like a very taupey purple color, so maybe maybe this fall I'll wear it more. Um, the next color I got was All Hail McQueen, and I absolutely adore this color. This is this beautiful tan color, and it has flecks of shimmer inside of it, and the shimmer is not any particular color, it's kind of the holographic shimmer, where at different angles you can see it as blue or green or pink. You can't really see it right now, but in the sun, oh my god, it's just beautiful. And I kind of like that. In the office, it's, it looks very subtle, and it doesn't look like it's too shimmery, so this is a perfect back-to-school color. Um, yeah, all hail, all hail the queen, sorry. It used to be All Hail McQueen, I think, but I don't really changed it. The next color is Disco Biscuit, and I love this color right here. I know I'm going to say that for every single one of these because they're so unique. You can't find this sort of color in the drugstore. I mean, look at that blue shimmer that it has inside. And the pink is also just absolutely gorgeous. I love this color. With this, though, I would suggest using three coats and make sure you use a top coat because if you can see the texture... You know, even to touch, it feels very like, feels like sandpaper almost, but not that gross. Definitely use a top coat on top of it and you'll be good to go. The next color is my, the most unique color I have in my entire collection and it's called Knackered. At like, in one angle it looks purple, then it looks blue, then it starts to look green. It's just awesome. This color is just... One of the best duo t colored, duo chrome nail polishes I have seen in, like, a v <sighs> I can't even talk, I love this color so much. <laughs> this is like one of the best duo chrome colors I have ever seen. I know a lot of drugstores have been trying to duplicate this and they just haven't. And it has really cool specks of shimmer in it too. I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, love this color. Next one is called Teddy Girl. It's just this really cute light pink, and it looks like this on my thumb, and yes, two coats has covered my entire thumb beautifully. It doesn't even look like I need a top coat, but I probably would just put it on for staying power. Um, although, I think that these could stay for like four or five days without a top coat, without being chipped, which says a lot about polishes, because OPI, you pay $8 and your polish is off within two days. Anyways, so the next color I got was Lovely Jubbly, and I love the name first off, <laughs> but I also love the shimmer that, this is just pure sparkle by the way, and it's all these different colors. You can see some pink, some blue, obviously purple. Swatched on, I ran out of fingers, so I just put it on a piece of tape, and that's how it looks. This is two coats, you could use a third one and then put a top coat on and you'll be good to go. I don't think you really need to put any color behind it or underneath it, but if you wanted to, just put one coat of purple on and then you'll get, you know, opaque nails and it'll look good. Anyways, the next color I got was HRH, which is this royal purple color. And it kind of looks like it's a little bit duotone too. It kind of goes darker in the corners and stuff, and I can say the same about my nail as well. This is how it looks on my nails. And I just took off some gel nails, so if it doesn't look like it's put on flawlessly, it's because my nails are kind of rigid underneath it. So, love this color. The next one I got was the Black Knight. 
I also got this one today. It's a black nail lacquer with different specks of shimmer. Um, as you can tell, I really like the shimmer polishes. There we go. Lots of purple, blue, pinks. Might be a little bit of green in there too. And this is how it looks on the finger. Let's go like that. So yeah, I really like this color. I've never seen anything like this in the drugstore, so it justified my purchasing it. The next one I got what is Knees Up. This is a red, um, it's not a red. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a muddy red. It's very sultry. Can you see how it gets like black in the corners right here? That's exactly how it looks on my nails too. Sorry for flicking you off. <laughs> but that's how it looks. And in different shades and different lights, kind of looks dark in one corner and uh, yeah, I really like this color, especially for the winter. Next one I got was Sprog. I have no idea what that means, but I love this blue. It reminds me a lot of the Chanel blue polishes, so when I saw this I was immediately drawn to it. This is how it looks on my skin, and it's very glossy. You don't necessarily need a top coat for this one, and two coats is enough. It's opaque. This is like one of my favorite ones. Um, the next one I got is La Moss, which is this kind of vixen, maroon, red, black, brown color. <laughs> Do not know how to explain it. I don't know if it's showing true to color right now. But anyways, this is how it looks on my finger. I love this color. This is like perfect for the fall. Sorry. Um, I'll be wearing this all fall, I can guarantee you this. I've been looking for a color just like this. Um, I was looking for it in the Gelish kit, the Gelish selection, and I couldn't find it, so I'm really glad I picked La Moss up. Anyway, so that's the end of my Butter London haul. If you guys went out and got some nail polishes, let me know what you guys got. Leave a video response, and I hope you found some sort of color in my entire collection that you guys like. I know I go kind of from pinks to dark colors and to sparkly to not sparkly. To be quite honest, I have a really large nail polish collection, so I can't keep collecting pinks. I've ended up kind of liking everything, so hopefully you guys like one of the colors in here. And yeah, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks guys. Hi boobies. Say hi. You want the polish? Do you have polish? What is it?